Halo Reach flighting program for the PC and Xbox to begin potentially next week, according to 343. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. But how's it going, everybody? Kevin here once again, giving you another news update. We've got some big news coming to you for you guys for the flighting program for the MCC. So if you like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below where your thoughts are on the video as well and the flighting program just in general or MCC coming to the PC. If you're excited for it, I like to see in the comments. I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, we'll stay up to date with anything MCC related, Halo Infinite or Halo 5 or any other Halo-ness around us. Please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. Let's get right into the video here. As of the time of recording this video, just a few hours ago, Unishek posted up a community update about everything going on in Halo. Everything from just like playlist changes in Halo 5 to about how E3 went. Obviously the Halo Infinite trailer that we recently saw. And what just like everything else in between when it comes to doing Halo, he does a great job of summarizing everything while also being very detailed. Like the new esports events that we have coming along, Halo Outpost discoveries, new Halo gear, new loot crate, uh, things to look out for, and just also kind of fun art pieces as well to look at within this thing. It's always a joy to read through if you guys get a chance. Link is in the description down below. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the flighting program that's looking to happen. Well, pretty much like next week of the making of this video. So let's get into the details here, guys. So I want to be very specific with the wording here. So I'm just going to read exactly what is written so you guys can have the most clear, straight from the horse's mouth kind of statement here. So let's get right into it. So if everything goes according to plan, our first flight for Halo Reach on MCC PC will be early next week to a small subsection of registered Halo Insiders. We're starting out more modestly because we've got quite a few levers to pull and we want to ensure our delivery pipeline runs smoothly, our communications are clear, and the participation can probably provide their feedback on the build. Since there are so many pieces and levers that need testing, verification, and appropriate approvals, we need to take our time to ensure we're sending out a quality flight for our Halo Insiders. The team has a build which appears to be a strong candidate, but still in the middle of going through the test process as I type. That said, we're still targeting to release next week and we'll be sharing the details with the public. So even if you aren't scheduled for the flight, you'll know what's happening. Stay tuned for more details throughout. So I do really like that last bit that Unishek wrote saying that even if you don't get in, you'll still know what's going on. The last flighting program that we dealt with when it came to MCC is that we didn't really hear anything from 343 if you didn't get in basically. And so I do like this communication of like people are going to be constantly asking, did I get in? Did I get in? Because I'm certainly going to want to know that. And if I do get in, I certainly will let you guys know if I can. Obviously, there's going to be some NDAs, I'm sure, involved with the introductory flights that will happen with this. And as it grows larger and larger, the NDA will kind of lift off as well, I'm assuming, with this process. Very similar to what we dealt with when it came to MCC flighting program. I feel like I can tell by how Unishek was writing this, like they want to get this out to us as soon as possible. And they're saying like, it's probably going to happen next week it's looking like it if nothing surprising happens when it comes to the te internal testings and obviously you want to make sure that when the stuff you're sending out to the public is something that's rather playable and stable so you can work on actually fixing things that you want to fix rather than like my game didn't load so yeah they did say flighting test happening in june and then we didn't hear anything to read about now on the way into the last week of june to get something else for uh, out for us and obviously if something delays it again i, I wouldn't be too hurried about it because obviously i want 343 to do their due diligence and making sure the products that we do receive are a top-notch product. You also have to take in consideration that they're most likely using this kind of flighting program for also to how they're going to scale up the flighting program when it comes to Halo Infinite because obviously a lot more people are going to want to sign up for that I'm sure and so this is going to be a very crucial time for 343 to iron out all the bugs when it comes to flight testing, different builds, as well as how to use Halo Insider as a platform, central platform for feedback and interaction with players when it comes to these flighting programs so i am very excited for the future when it comes to mcc guys if you guys are excited let me know in the comment section down below guys if you get any emails let me know because i want to see if anyone else in the community here gets involved with the flighting program because hey i'll probably need some people to play with if i get a chance to get in this thing 
Hopefully. You need to check. I'm just saying you should totally invite me into this flighting program first round. Just saying. So yeah, if you guys are excited for the MCC updates, reach coming to the MCC. Make sure to tap that like button because it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below. Your thoughts on the flighting program, the process coming along for us here. And if you're new to the channel and want to keep it up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. Like I said earlier, guys, it really does help out and keep you up to date with anything going on with Halo. And if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.